I don't know if that's true. With the T.I. situation, if he did that, you a fucking rat too. I don't spare no motherfucking body. Because if you, if you, if you doing anything wrong, you doing anything criminal wise, and you cooperate with law enforcement to get you out of trouble, that means you're cooperating. That means you're a rat. So you're here what Boosie said. He said you are a rat if you cooperate. Let's start this show the right way. Salute to everybody here. Thank you for watching the Osmo Hip Hop Live content. I am your guy, DJ Bless One. Now, let's start this the right way. So, Boosie Boo goes out his way with a Vlad TV interview. First of all, salute to Vlad TV. Like what he does. Y'all know we always bigs him up for the exclusive content that he gives out. Now, Vlad gives these Boosie Boo series and they go viral. I'm talking about every single video, anything that Boosie echoes out there on that platform or anywhere else for sakes of views is going to do numbers. And it did numbers when he called out T.I.P. He emphatically called T.I. He basically talked about how T.I. is dead to me. So is our joint album. Salute to TMZ for the theatrics. Now, if you don't know what they're talking about, I feel like we need to get the show on the road and start it the right way. Now, Boosie, he did like this. He said basically he is watching his years long friendship with T.I. and the album they completed together. All due respect to ti admitting he was once uh basically a snitch on the, the deceased cousin to get out of a gun charge when he was 17 years old if you don't know what he's talking about let's go to that screen now true with the ti situation if he did that you're a fucking rat too i don't spare no motherfucking body because if you if you if you're doing anything wrong you're doing anything criminal wise and you cooperate with law enforcement to get you out of trouble that means you're cooperating. That means you're a rat. But I'm going to tell you like this. When I saw that, I think T.I. fucking lying. Now, we'll get more and expunge upon that about why he thinks T.I. is lying. But they said they were going to do a joint album together when the Charleston White beef escalated. I don't know if you guys remember, but let's go to that right quick on their joint ventures and projects. Man, we doing the right motherfucking thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Building yeah. an empire, continuing to build an empire collectively, yeah. unified, nigga. Black you know power. I mean? Black motherfucking power, nigga. You don't need to get lost, man. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. And it got and there's a line being drawn in the motherfucking I told, sand. What I told him, oh, what's it called? Hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. <laughs> no working. Shit, a constant work, man. Hey, man, so there was a pool party, be huh? Yeah. Yeah, shit. Let me go see over there. Let me go look over here, man. Yeah, this way. Yeah, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got till phone, man. <laughs> they say, man, Boozy, they got till. I got till phone, man. I'm finally on the live where I see numbers. <laughs> you might be banned tomorrow. It's <laughs> shit, man. It's all good. We're going to be banned together, nigga. We <laughs> shit, man. You know what we need to do? I'm going to take it to real. They say tip and tip, you got boots in your life, you might be bad tomorrow. It's <laughs> shit, man. It's all good. We're gonna be back there. King and Tootie doing the motherfucking reality show done pulled me and Boosie in them motherfucker, <laughs> man. Anybody tell you nigga better earn something, huh? Uh, you nigga better uh, <laughs> the middle of your chest, nigga. <laughs> Now, as you can see, the two like being around each other. They like being accompanied by each other. But this situation with Rat, we know Boosie does not stand on being next to anybody being Rats. Now, in his latest sit down with Vlad TV, Boosie basically unloaded on T.I. for randomly choosing to divulge into things and information he didn't want to know about this snitch situation. But as a result, he says he has no choice but to label his longtime friend a rat and that just kind of went crazy it blew the airs off now of course that's if the story is true boosie halfway thinks that ti was lying for podcasts and views but nonetheless says he basically scrapped the project after walking out 
you know what I'm saying, the more angry texts from fans and people who expected him to move like a real one in the situation. Now, this is what Boosie had to say about the line part for views. I think he went up there and just got the fucking talking. You think something happened at 17, 18 years old, right? You gonna hold how vocal he is. I've been around this. You gonna hold that in all them damn time. All this damn time for 20-something years, you gonna hold that in? And it finally came out? Why Why admit to that, though? Why admit to that after? Like, bro, I, I, bro, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. So you see Boosie's feeling is almost mutual through peers and friends. A lot of people are saying the same thing. Now, Boosie expressed similar sentiments when he was discussing Cash Money Record CEO Birdsman, older brother, which is Terrence Gangster Williams. Now, who openly testified against dead friends to basically free himself from incarceration in the feds after serving 27 and a half years on a life sentence already. Now, a lot of people understood Gangster, a lot of people didn't. It's almost the same sentiments, but it's like, why did, you know, T.I. echoed it? But before we say that, let's go to Terrence explaining. You know what I'm saying? His situation and his message to Boosie. Got to get it. Lil Boosie, thank you. Man, I'm at work when I got this word. I had to respond to this, man. I appreciate this one, baby. I really appreciate this one. Let's get down to the business at hand, my brother. You stated you X me out of your legend book. Let me just say this. Always remember this. You can hide history, but you cannot erase history. I got eight. Get matched with it. So you see what Gangster is trying to say about the history and the situation with the rat situation, but he went deeper on it a little bit more. Uh, no, you said you, you said you had yeah you said you had respect for me due to what you heard in the streets. But it sounded like a contradiction to me with you because you would say on one hand you had respect for me with all the stories you heard in the streets. That's why you had the respect for me. However, you lost respect for me because of the rumors of what you're hearing now. So which is it? It's like you picking how you want to feel. And I understand it. You have a right to do that. Now, you see. So Terrence on his response there is that Boosie is picking and choosing situations. Now, Tip got his fair of, uh, share of support on his podcast you know what i'm saying when it first aired now fellow artists like young jock and life Jennings and young dro they basically all called the scenario on a fortunate situation but boosie is going 100 percent lacoste and intolerant he's not accepting any cheese you know they say the rat bits the cheese but boosie is not now while tip album it's basically plans with Boosie are a buzz. The Atlanta rap legend dropping his final solo album this year titled The King. Now, setting the stage for him to address all allegations and Boosie all at once. So we're going to try to see the situation and see if it could be repaired. But little Boosie has said his statement. He is not rocking with rats at all. And he is basically sticking to it and ti has his own situations as well to respond to it and we're gonna go on a separate video i got where ti actually did respond that has to be on a separate one but look without further ado i am your guy dj bless one thank you for watching another episode of i smoke hip hop live look make sure you hit the like button and you hit the notification bell thank you for rocking out with us Peace to the real, true, salute and out. Y'all push a nigga fake, bitch I hang around them Haitians. Pull up on your tie your kids up, pistol whip you while your bitch naked. Come on man, Seb.